already said that. You asked me to bring the plants inside and I forgot. Okay, I'm allowed to forget things sometimes. Am I mad? Of course I'm mad. All the plants are dead. I'm not yelling. I'm not trying to yell. I don't want to upset you. Okay, I'll keep my voice down. Honey, we need to talk about this later. I am really upset and I don't want to take it out on you. Nope, I'm not mad at you. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm just upset I did that and I have a lot of feelings right now. So I'm going to go take a minute and calm down. Okay, and then we can finish talking. I need a time out. When I'm upset, my instinct is to defend myself because I get scared and I don't want to do that with you. I don't want to be mad at you. I'm just going to go be mad by myself for a bit. Okay? I love you. I'm not mad at you. I'm going to go into the bedroom. I'll be back in a minute. Well, that's great. I really messed this up. They had the plants outside to catch some sun and they asked me to take them in before I went to bed. I forgot to take them in and there was a frost and now all the plants are dead. They trusted me and I said I could do it and I let them down. I feel awful. I should have set an alarm on my phone to remind me. Ugh, I messed up. But I'm not going to spiral into the negative self-talk or punishing myself. I made a mistake. And because of that, plants died and the person I love was hurt. But making myself feel worse isn't going to do any good. I'm going to take a few deep breaths and remember that I am doing my best and I know how I can work on doing better. I can't undo what happened, but I can take responsibility for it. Oh, I hate this feeling. I don't like when I mess things up. And I know exactly what they're gonna say. They're going to apologize, even though I'm the one who messed up. They'll say something like, it was their fault for not doing it themselves or for not reminding me. None of that is true, but I know they get so scared because in the past, if someone got mad at them, they ended up getting hurt. They'll do anything to try to stay safe, even if it's taking the blame for what I did. I wish I hadn't gotten so upset. I was really embarrassed and mad at myself, but I know they think I'm mad at them. I wasn't trying to yell at all, but that's how it came across. I'm glad I took a minute to step away so I could deal with my anger without them having to be a part of it. I would never, ever hurt them. And I hope they know that. Okay, time to make this right. Hey, baby. I took some time to calm down and think about what I needed to say to you. Can we talk? Okay. You want to say something first? Yep, just like I thought. They're trying to apologize and make it all their fault. They think if they take all the blame, it will diffuse the situation but they're not trapped here. They don't have to do that anymore. Honey, you don't need to apologize for anything. You didn't do anything wrong. No, you didn't. You asked me for help and I said yes. You trusted me and I let you down and I'm sorry. I know you loved those plants and you took such good care of them. 
and I just neglected them. Yes, sometimes I forget things. You're right, accidents happen. But you don't have to make excuses for me. I could have set a timer on my phone or put a sticky note on the bathroom mirror. This was important to you and it should have been more important to me. I'm really sorry that I broke my word and that your plants died. I'm gonna take you shopping and we'll replace all of them. I know they were expensive and you put a lot of time into growing them. I should have been more careful. I care so much about you. And if something is important to you, it's important to me. And baby, I'm sorry I raised my voice. I know that's really hard for you to be around and that it makes you feel really uncomfortable. I'm trying not to get loud when I get upset and I'm gonna keep trying. Yeah, but even though I'm not yelling at you and I'm not, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. No more excuses. I was yelling and I'm never trying to make you feel bad but I still know that yelling bothers you. And knowing it bothers you makes me want to avoid it. You didn't do anything to make me mad or yell. That was all my emotional response. You don't need to apologize, baby. Listen to me, please. My emotions are not your responsibility. I'm in charge of my own behavior. It's normal to feel things. It's normal for me to feel angry at myself. But what matters is how I react to that, how I handle that. And I didn't handle it well. I started yelling and that made you uncomfortable. And that was not your fault. And yeah, I, I did go off in the bedroom to take a minute to calm down and that was really good. And I think my therapist would be pretty proud of me because that's something we've been working on. But I could have done that a lot sooner before I started yelling. And I'm sorry. I love you so much. Can I give you a hug? Okay. Come here, baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Baby, you're shaking. Yeah. Is it because you're scared? Look at me, honey. I'm not mad at you. I promise. It's okay. It's okay. I understand why you're scared. Nothing bad is going to happen to you. You're safe. They're shaking so much. They always try to hide it, but they can't. It's hard sometimes because I have to be so careful. There are a lot of things that bring up old fears for them. But it's always worth the effort because I would do anything to make them feel safe. I'm right here, baby. No one is gonna hurt you. Do you wanna sit down? Yeah, let's sit down for a minute. Right here. There you go, on the couch. It's gonna be okay. Yeah? Can I kiss your forehead? Okay. What was that? Of course we can look at plants. Here, I've, I've got my phone right here. I'll sit next to you and you can take my phone and see what you can find. No, it doesn't have to be the same plants. Get whatever you want. I wonder how many times they were yelled at and threatened 
Then their ex came back and said they were sorry and bought a gift to make up for it. I hope they can feel the difference. I'd never blame them for something I did. I wouldn't pretend like it never happened or that they were overreacting. I wouldn't say my feelings were more important than theirs. It's true, we all make mistakes, but how we take responsibility and learn from our actions, that's the most important thing. What we do next is the real apology. I'd buy them a whole garden if I thought that would make them happy. But I know what they really want is somebody who cares someone who respects them, someone who wants to do better. And I do, and I will.